So here we have an example while we are building rule-based classifier. So assume that we are interested to pick the best candidate rule. So here we have a bunch of candidates and we need to choose which candidate going to give us more information gain. So information gain simply we are applying FOIL's information gain to do so. And FOIL's information gain, its equation is here. I have already added it. So simply if you have two rules, right, then if you need to calculate the information gain, you need to apply this equation. Where P1, or let's start with P0, simply the number of positive instances inside your data set that are covered by R0. And 0, simply the number of negative instances covered by R0. And same for P1 and N1. P1 is number of instances covered by PR1. And N1 is the number of negative instances covered by R1. So let's take this example and see how we're going to find out which candidate rule is best. So first assume that we, I mean, we have the initial empty antecedent. So that means for R0, R0 is going to be our empty antecedent. And let's say we are interested to classify whether mammals or not. So we have mammals as our class label or this in this case here is the consequence or the consequent part of our rule so this is the antecedent of the rule and this is the consequent of the rule so now if we calculate the coverage right simply this is empty antecedent that means it's going to cover all the instances we have inside our data set right and then that means simply we have 15 for coverage so if we calculate coverage for this rule so it's going to be 15 by the total number of instances we have which is 15 as well so we're gonna end up with one and the accuracy simply is those that satisfy the number of instances that satisfy our rule in full including the antecedent and the consequent part where we have 15, so the accuracy in this case going to be 5 divided by those that included in the coverage area, which is simply 15. So we're going to get the accuracy 0 0.333. And let's include P0 and N0 in this case. So later we're going to use when we calculate FOIL's information gain. So P0, simply as I said, the number of instances that is covered by rule R0. So how many do we have here, the number of instances that covered by R0, the positive instances? So simply we have five, right? And N0, we have the rest of the instances, which is, which are, I mean, uh, 10. We have 10 cases. So now we're done for R0. We already provided all the values. So let's go and work on the first candidate rule. So let's go and calculate the number of instances that are covered by this rule. Okay, so this is going to be at some time R1. So we have R1, R1, R1. So now we have those candidate rules. So for the first one, let's go and check first for the antecedent. So to make it easy to observe, I'm going just to put, to mark those places of hair, right? Skin cover for this attribute. First, so we have one, two, three, right? So we have three instances for skin covered where it equal hair. So now how many positive among them, right? If we check among them, we have all of them, all the three instances. So we can write here three, we got the negative ones. We don't have any negative instance. So we're going to say zero. So the accuracy here, simply we're going to have three, right? divided by the total number of instances that we have for this attribute or this feature, which is also three, 
right? Including the positive and negative one. So we ended up having equals one, which means 100% accuracy. Now let's go to another one. For this candidate where body temperature is warm. So let's first just mark those which have warm body temperature. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have in total seven instances. So for P0, among those seven which satisfy the consequent part for mammals, we have, let's see, to find out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, right? So we have five instances. While two among them are negative, so we write here two. So in this case, the accuracy is going to be five divided by seven is going to be zero. Zero point, I think, seven something. Let's just check and see. Yeah, so it should be zero point seven one four. So let's go and find for the last one. Let me pick another color. Now for has legs, no. So let's see those instances that do not have legs. So we have one, two, three, four, five cases. Now among these five cases, how many of them are positive? That satisfies the consequent part. We have one, right? One case, only one case. So we have one case here. And for N1, the rest of the instances, simply that means we have four. So now in this case, the accuracy is going to be one divided by four equal to, sorry, one divided by five, right? The total, which means 0 0.2. So now we're done with accuracy, right? Now let's go and calculate the information gain. This is actually what interests us most to determine which candidate rule we're going to pick. So now for the first one, just we simply, we substitute in the equation. So in this case, we can say this equals, I'm going to use the same color, right? So here we have P1, in this case is 3, multiplied by logarithm 2. P1 is 3 divided by the total, which is also 3, minus, now for R0, minus logarithm 2. So P0 is 5 divided by 15. And this will give us 4.755. So this is going to be 4.755. So we can add here 4.755. Now let's go to the second candidate. So the second candidate we have, let's calculate as well. So we have P1 is 5 multiplied by logarithm 2. So again, just we apply the equation, substitute in it. So we have 5 divided by the total number, which is 7, minus this part is going to be same for R0, 5 divided by 15. And then we're going to get here 5.498. We're going to get 5.498. Now let's calculate for the last candidate. So for the last candidate is going to be equal for P1, we have four multiplied by logarithm two, 
we have also 1 divided by 5 minus the second part is going to be same. And here we're going to get actually minus 0 0.737. So just we put here 0 0.737. So now we notice among all, among all cases, right, then we have the highest information gain is for the second candidate rule, this one. So in this case, we're going to pick this antecedent or this candidate as a rule to complete building our base rule classifier.